There are many reasons why your air conditioner may be underperforming. Your system could be low on refrigerant, your evaporator coil could be clogged, the filter could be dirty, or the air ducts that lead to each room in your house could be damaged or crushed. These problems can lead someone to think that their AC is undersized and that they should get a bigger air conditioner. In this video, I want to tell you why getting a bigger AC may not be the best idea. Hey, if this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Also, if you have any opinions on this topic, please feel free to let us know down below in the comments section because I really appreciate your input. Hi, I'm Greg Fox from Fox Family Heating, Air Conditioning, and Solar. As the Sacramento area grows outwards, new neighborhoods have sprouted up very quickly. And after the haste, many folks that I've talked to have complained that their air conditioner seems to be undersized. And sometimes they are, right? Sometimes the HVAC contractor that installed that system didn't consider that the house has 10 foot ceilings instead of the usual eight foot ceilings. And that isn't the only thing we take a look at either. In older homes and newer homes, the square footage of the house, the type of windows and doors that they have, the orientation of the house, trees that might be covering the house, as well as the insulation levels in the house are all used to figure out the proper size AC for your home. If your home's air conditioner is undersized, you'll know it because it'll just run and run and run, even on 85 to 90 degree days. That's warm, but nothing compared to the average of 22 days a year that we experience 100 plus degree days here in the Sacramento area. Most air conditioners these days are designed to be efficient up to 95 degrees or less. Anything hotter than that and everyone's air conditioners are gonna be running nonstop. This is the way it is in a lot of our homes around the area. But for some people, they think that they should get a bigger size system. Here are some reasons I think you should consider when trying to move to a bigger system. Your air ducts are sized for the size system you have now. And if you get a bigger system, you can actually affect the static pressure of that system. Static pressure is like the blood pressure in your body. If your heart was too big for your body, it could cause complications with your blood pressure, right? Well, it's the same with the static pressure of your HVAC system. The bigger air conditioner and its compressor won't be able to operate under the same comfortable conditions as it would as if it was properly sized. And this will lead to early system failures of your new HVAC system. A bigger system is also not gonna feel as comfortable for your house. Humidity isn't a big deal around here in California, but in other areas of the country, it is. Either way, the comfortability of factor is compromised when you get a bigger system. Imagine this, when you turn on your AC in your car on a hot day, the air comes on full blast until you start to feel nice and cold in there, right? Now, turn that AC back off and it starts to feel muggy and strangely warm too quickly. The car walls, the seats, the leather, and other things in the car haven't even gotten cool yet. That's the same thing you'll experience in a house with too big of a system. Sure, the thermostat might satisfy at the temperature you're asking for more quickly, but it kicks right back on quickly too. And this can really mess with the humidity levels in your home because the system hasn't run long enough for it to do its job, which is to cool your house and dehumidify the house at the same time. Ideal humidity levels in our homes around here are 45 to 55%. Anything more than that, and it really starts to feel sticky in there. Another reason to get the size right is because now that your larger system is constantly turning on and off all day on these hotter days, the motors will wear out faster. The most damaging time for a motor, especially your $2,000 compressor, is when all that damaging heat and energy slam into that motor to get it running. Sure, it levels off once it's running, but the starting and stopping is what really hurts those expensive motors. The right size system runs for longer times, but cools your house more effectively by getting your walls, furniture, the carpet and ceilings cool, as well as the occupants in your house. That's why getting it right is so important. If you're an HVAC technician watching this video, don't just go into the house and say, oh yeah, well you've got a two and a half ton system in your house, so that's what we're gonna go back with. You might be going back with that same size system, but at least know for sure that that's what size your customer needs by doing a proper load calculation of the house and its surroundings. An HVAC system is one of the most expensive things people buy for their homes. 
and it would be devastating to buy too small of a system or too large of a system. You really want to get it just right. I just went to a family's house where there are lots of newer homes that have been built in the area. This particular home had a three and a half ton system on a house that I measured out at a little over 2,300 square feet. Normally, this three and a half ton system would definitely be considered too small for this house. Thing is, this was a house that had two thermostats, also known as a house with two zones or a zoned house, one upstairs and one downstairs. Zoned houses are designed to cool one floor at a time, not the whole house. Watch my video on how to cool a two-story house for a better strategy on cooling this type of house. I'll leave it at the end of this video. Basically though, I just set the schedule on their thermostat, which had never been set up before, to cool the downstairs living area during the day and the upstairs sleeping areas starting around 7 p.m. These folks were told by another company before mine to just set it to their desired temperature, which was 74 degrees on both floors and press the hold button on the thermostat. That's why when I went into their home to give them an estimate for a new system, they were really focused on getting a bigger system because that three and a half ton system just could not keep up with that big old house all day. The temperature in the home was actually getting higher throughout the hot days. Each zone was only about 1300 square feet, but they had 12 foot ceilings, 20 year old vinyl south facing windows, and a south facing wall that's getting hammered by the sun all day and those walls were part of the main living room downstairs and the master bedroom upstairs. So they can literally feel the heat radiating through their walls into those rooms. With some activity during the day upstairs, especially around the afternoon areas, all this was taken into consideration as I told them the size of their system could actually go down a half a ton. But considering that everything about the house, the three and a half ton would be just fine. Getting a larger AC than you need might sound appealing, but it's torture on your new system. It probably won't last as long as it's supposed to, and you'll be buying a new system sooner than you should. Well, I hope this video has helped you understand the importance of not getting an oversized air conditioner for your home. If you have any comments about the proper sizing of the air conditioning systems in your area, leave a comment below. I'd love to start a conversation about this with everyone. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.